Hey guys, how are you all doing? We are back with another video for your subject mobile computing. And in this video, we'll be talking about how can you score for this subject or basically pass for this subject. Because uh, no matter you are a like good scoring student, top like topper of the class, or a student who is aiming to just pass this subject, all of us first target is to pass and know what questions are more important, just to pass this subject or have a kick start, right? So what what we'll do is we'll discuss the like passing questions first so I have taken 13 questions for you after that we will be like checking out that if you want more marks chahiye, average marks chahiye, or topper wale marks chahiye, just full marks then how can you prepare for it where will you get from the question bank where can you get from the question bank where can you get and all of that so we'll definitely discuss this but in the later part of the video so currently talking about the 13 important questions that I have collected for you so I've divided it into four sections and you have to give the most priority section 1, then you have to give section 2, then you have to give section 3, then you have to give section 4, right? So for section 1, we'll be doing four questions. First is the applications for mobile computing. Second is electromagnetic spectrum. Third is signal propagation and characteristics. And fourth is differentiate between DSSS and FHSS, okay? So you guys need to finish these four questions for section 1. Uh, once you finish these questions, you can go to section 2. The first question is characteristics of GSM standards. Next is GSM architecture. Next question is short different algorithms used for authentication and privacy in GSM. Fourth question is explain various nodes present in EUTRAN architecture. So these four questions making the entire section 1 plus section 2 to be as 8 important questions you guys have to finish these like on a priority basis and uh, as you all are almost like knowing about the brain heaters application we have already uploaded iske answers wahan par so if you guys need like a detailed explanation question answers module wise question banks everything is already updated in the brain heaters app so make sure you check it Okay, so this was about section 1, section 2. Let's go to section 3, wherein the first question is, explain GPRS system and protocol architecture. Next is, how is packet delivery achieved to and fro from the mobile nodes? Okay, next is, explain DSTV routing protocol used in ad hoc networks. So these three questions you'll be focusing for section three and for section four you just have two questions to be done that is explain internet protocol and transport layer and the last question is difference between tunneling and encapsulation. So uh, guys here we have the 13 important questions that will help you kick start your preparation for this particular subject but this is not enough. If you are thinking that you can pass so pass or that you will replicate these questions for your passing ke liye. so there might be case that it won't be because is university exam pattern changes so to be on a safer side or to prepare well what we have done for you is we have uploaded all the materials in the brain eaters app you can just go to bh plans and cover all the questions mentioned in the bh uh, like uh, question list whatever it is so we have already added bh plans for you all we have added module wise questions that is bh question banks for you and all the solutions for these questions are available in the bh notes these materials are available in the Brainators app so make sure you check it and uh, i know most of you already have the app and the subscription and the smart plan so we need not worry i mean we can just directly go to the app start our preparation and we are good to go for the exam so yeah i mean uh, these are the questions that you need to deal with and i hope you guys study well if there are any doubts you can just let me know in the comment section also which subject do you want next please let me know in the comments so that we can get ready with that video as well for you all so yeah and you can just get back to us anytime on uh, our whatsapp community you can text us on instagram definitely our team is available there 24 7 to help you out you can also follow us on LinkedIn because uh, we will be helping you connect with the professional and the alumni background out there. So yeah, you can just uh, like stay connected with LinkedIn as well. Also, we have like updated our Vaders app resources. So if you haven't downloaded the BH app, you can definitely check out the link in the description. You'll find all the details in there. So I guess that's it for this video and I'll probably see you in the next video. Bye bye.